right guys thanks for watching this diagnostic world video um, this is our BMW F30 um, F31 is exactly the same and all of the F type BMWs to be honest with you um, we've got the traction control we've got the ABS light and we've got the uh, tire pressure monitoring system warning light on the screen there um, driving along picture the scene you're driving along and all these lights come on just completely randomly uh, generally probably means that you're gonna need uh, to get a new ABS sensor for one of your wheels um, now the way to diagnose and find out which sensor is faulty um, would be to get one of these kits this is the iCOS of BM2 kit and that is available at Diagnostic World it's www.diagnostic-world.com so it's going to tell you where within the ABS system the fault is like I say it's generally going to be an ABS sensor but don't rule out the possibility that it could be an ABS module or it could be an ABS pump which is at fault uh, those are the other two big components of the ABS system which can uh, go faulty so uh, what we're going to do is we'll show you how to diagnose this so we're going to go into BMW I'm going to go to BMW click the version information that's just the latest version And then it's going to take a few minutes to actually, well, probably about a minute or so to actually connect up to the uh, the vehicle. Uh, so as I say, this is the F30 and F31, um, but you know, like the, the five series, the one series, uh, the two, the four, the seven, they're all going to be exactly the same, the exact same process. And uh, okay, so we'll go to manual select. So we're going to select the ABS system, which in this vehicle is the DSC dynamic stability control and then we're going to click to read DTC so it's giving us a fault code of 480712 uh, and it's telling us wheel speed sensor supply front left so that's basically telling us that the ABS sensor on the front left is faulty and we need to get that replaced we can go ahead and do that now uh, we'd already diagnosed the fault so we've already ordered an ABS sensor uh, so we'll put the links to um, where you can pick up that ABS sensor and where you can pick up this BM2 kit just directly below this video um, okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and get the wheel off and we're gonna die uh, sorry get the ABS sensor out put the new ABS sensor in then we'll come back into the vehicle and hopefully we should be able to get rid of these warning lights so I'm going to show you where the ABS sensor is now that we've got the wheel off you've got two cables here running into this black junction box uh, so the ABS sensor is this one here so if we follow that into the box all we need to do is open this little box up and I'll show you how to do that just clip that unclip that and then you'll see we get to two electrical connections this one's the ABS sensor this one is for the brake pad sensor so all you need to do is just sort of maneuver this one out you can just pull it there pull it there and then you will be able to unravel this a bit further and you'll see right there there's an electrical clip which you just press in but just put that on the stand there it makes it a little bit easier for me so if I just press that in and there we go that comes out so what do we then do with this Okay, so this electrical part stays where it is that's where we're going to plug our new ABS sensor into what we need to do is we need to follow this wire here all the way around so it goes there down and then I'm going to show you around the back it goes into the back of the pub. So there it is so you can see this sensor here so it's gonna be blurry but it's the sensor here and that is the little key which you need to put in there now that's a five number no sorry it's a t27 t27 which you need to put in there and that will unravel like that so once you've got this off
And so that's what you need to get out. And when you, once you've got that out, you find you need to pull this out. Now, it won't always come out straight away. So you feel you need to get yourself in a position whereby it can give it a good pull, excuse the expression, to get that out. So once you've got that out, just unravel it and take it back to the junction box and you'll be able to remove the old ABS sensor. That is pretty easy, if I'm honest with you, because on the rear you have to rock about with taking these uh, little nuts off. And this one, everything you need is right behind the hub. With regards to the replacement ABS sensor, well this is the part number. And this is the sensor, which is available at Dominator Auto Diagnostics. And you can see the size of the sensor there, so it's not big at all. Obviously that goes in the electrical connection, that bit goes in the end of the hub. Uh, about £25 to fit these, uh, sorry to get them, fit it yourself in about an hour. Uh, so I'm going to take this one out completely, I'm going to put this one in. And then we'll get back into the vehicle to see if we can go ahead and diagnose the fault. Uh, sorry, get rid of the, uh, the fault codes and the warning lights. Okay, so we're back in the vehicle now, having reset the... Uh, or sorry, sorry, should I say, put the new ABS sensor in the vehicle. Uh, it was quite an easy process, took about 10-15 minutes to get the old sensor out, uh, unravel it, put the new one back in. Well, actually, that's no, probably a lie, it's probably more like half an hour. Um, but there we go, so we're going to turn the engine on now to see if the lights are still there, or to see if they've automatically turned off. Some cars react differently, some of them will turn off automatically, some of them will uh, stay on and need a reset. Okay, so that's good, all the lights have gone off. Obviously we've still got the handbrake on, so that's why that's on there. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is now we're going to go into uh, the tool again because we still need to reset the codes. The codes are still on the system. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the DSC of this vehicle. Click on to read DTC. So there you go, the fault is still there. Now we'll go to clear fault memory. Succeeded to clear DTC, so we'll go back in and just have a quick look, make sure they have gone no DTC that's brilliant news okay so that is the full guide on how to uh, diagnose and replace the ABS sensor in your BMW F30 or F31 or any other pretty much any other BMW to be honest with you but this kit this is a magical kit the BM2 it's available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com I will also put a link to where we got the ABS sensor from um, as well down below um, in the comments and also in the uh, the description of the video uh, so I hope this video has helped you um, don't be too disappointed or don't be too disheartened if you if your dashboard is lighting up like a Christmas tree because generally it'll display a lot of fault uh, warning lights just for one simple sensor uh, which is exactly what's happened in this case but it's all been repaired it's all been fixed now with not too much trouble uh, so thanks very much for watching Please like the video, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.